You talked about the, the clinic that you're doing. Now, not only is that a good thing in what you talked about, but there's also someone over there who's uh, kind of a special resource for that. Sure. Uh, my wife, uh, Elinda, is actually currently a registered nurse here in the States and actually just got her Zambian nursing license along with Lorraine's granddaughter, who is also named Lorraine, um, who's out there as a nurse. And so we got a couple of nurses. My wife is a professor of nursing yes. as well. And she's contacted a Congolese doctor there that has agreed to be the head doctor on site. Uh, we have an infinite uh, amount of resources in South Africa, just a little to the south of us. If we needed somebody to come do a surgery, we could fly them up, have them do the surgery, and fly them back home kind of thing. So, yeah, and, and we've also heard a lot of people here in the States say that they want to be involved, come out and, you know, do uh, whatever they specialize in for a short term and then come back. So the, the potentials here are, are yeah. huge. Yeah, the, re the resources potentially right. available are pretty significant. And with Linda there already right. in Lorraine, you already have some of them there on site. Who knows what will happen, yeah. Well, with the, with the Cafacuma Develop Project Fund um, and the annual annual dinner we have in November that we mentioned, um, and trying to build that up so that Pastor School becomes perpetually funded, um, there's certainly ways that uh, that can help out. How can people help out? They can certainly donate. They could come to the dinner and donate at that time. But also, too, there's even a way people could potentially donate at a larger scale. Sure, you know, uh, Cafacuma Development Project Fund would be great to leave in your will if you don't have uh, already some family members or a special cause that you want to leave money to. It would be a way of kind of letting your money continue giving uh, forever. And of course, also there's the, uh, you know, appreciated stock and stuff, those kind of tax benefit. Obviously, you have to talk to your accountant about all the uh, benefits of that. But um, so, some wonderful ways that you can do it in a way that doesn't hurt you too bad now, yes. but, but also helps build the endowment. Fund. Endowment and a legacy with that. And, and the fact that we're two thirds of the way, we're excited about yeah. getting um, the funding to get us there. So it is self-sustaining um, here forward. Definitely.